Many of us have experienced the error, this site certificate is not trusted anymore, when loading a website. Are you the user on the back end that manages CA certificates and worry about making sure they are rotated before they expire? Or do you worry about your CAs being compromised and putting your information at risk? When you find yourself in a situation with a compromised or expired CA, it's crucial that this is quickly dealt with. If you're not able to quickly set up your new CA properly and make sure that it works before deleting the old one, you risk having users run into outages or be unable to react to a compromise in time. Even though this is such an important piece of working with certificates, CA rotation is typically a complex and error-prone process. It involves moving multiple parts like distribution of your trust anchor, the group of root CA certificates installed to establish trust, and requires careful orchestration of going from one CA to another safely. That is where CA pools from Certificate Authority Service come in. CA pools allow you to simply and safely rotate your CAs without downtime or changes that need to be deployed. A Certificate Authority CA pool is a collection of multiple CAs with a common certificate issuance policy and IAM policy. In other words, a CA pool represents a single certificate issuance endpoint for multiple CAs. This characteristic is important because it's what allows rotation to occur without any changes from the client's perspective. CA pools provide the ability to rotate trust chains without any outage or downtime for their payloads. You can create a new CA without affecting your issuance path and test it in the stage state before you enable it to replace the expired or compromised CA. This ensures seamless CA rotation and is essential to avoid service downtime and remain protected in compromised scenarios. Typically, you'd need to roll out a configuration and tell your workloads to look in a new place for the new trusted CA. Thanks to the way we designed our CA pools API, we've cut out these steps. There are two key things in the design that have allowed us to do that. First, a single certificate issuance endpoint, which I mentioned before, and a single CA certificate retrieval endpoint. By having a single retrieval endpoint, rotation becomes much simpler because there's only one place to go for the necessary information to rotate. As long as you integrate with this endpoint once, you won't have to change any configuration or code to get the new CA certs. You can simply run a few commands to rotate the CA, and we take care of the rest on the back end without any effects to your workloads. There are a lot of guardrails in place to make this possible. You can enable both CAs at the same time and make sure everything runs well before disabling and eventually deleting the old one. Plus, it's easy to roll back if anything does go wrong because of this CA state management process. It's important to keep in mind that this process is dependent on each client application regularly fetching the latest trust anchor from the CA pool. So you'll need to be mindful about making sure your workloads have gotten access to CAS and have pulled the new CA trust anchor before rotating. Rotating your CAs with CA pools is a safe procedure for introducing a new CA, testing it, rolling it out, and being able to roll it back safely if need be helping to ensure that your certificates don't expire or become compromised. It can save you large amounts of downtime with no necessary deployment changes, decreasing risk and time spent with engineering resources to execute rotation. Check out the links in the description for tutorials on how to create, manage the rotation of, update, and delete a CA pool. Thanks for watching.